Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak, Wadash. Yahweh is the true, holy, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham meaning in the name. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, and powerful name of His only begotten Son, who is the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting off with the elect within the nation of Israel. Israel consists of you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Excuse me. As well as you Israelite foreigners scattered abroad that may look like the nations where you've been scattered to, but our Israelites. And I also want to give double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful the like pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth. All right, this is the brother you call from the GMS branch out in Des Moines, Iowa. Coming back at you with another lesson inspired by the Holy Spirit, Harbor Kakodash. And um, in this lesson, I just want to briefly touch up on a few articles, all right, um, in relation to uh, different prophecies that are. Uh, speaking, as it says in the book of Habakkuk, uh, let's start off with that. In the book of uh, Habakkuk, chapter 2, and we'll start at the top. It says, uh, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. All right, and we're on the watchtower. Okay, the prophets are the ones that are uh, looking out and, and seeing the things that are happening throughout the earth to give warning unto the people. As the scripture says in the book of Ezekiel, um give them warning from me all right from the heavenly father man <clears throat> all right so the things that we see are we have to warn the people of how it relates to what the lord said he would do all right and what's to come as the scripture says in the book of second there's the ninth chapter measure the time diligent diligently in itself it says when thou seest part of the signs come to pass which i have told thee before then shalt thou well understand it is the very same time in which the highest will begin to uh, visit the world in which he created, roughly paraphrasing that precept, man. All right, so we're seeing because of these signs, which is the prophecies that we're approaching the time where the Lord is going to visit this place. All right, he's already beginning to visit with his presence through uh, through judgments that are happening, all right, through the disasters and, and so on and so forth. All right, and that's what we're going to go into, man, different prophecies that relate to uh, the coming of our Lord, man, are right, signs of the coming of our Lord, should I say. But it says, uh, Habakkuk 2 and 2, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. So we're at the end and what's happening? These prophecies are speaking. It says, and though it tarry, wait for, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. All right. So let's go into this first article here. Now, this is from um, Time. All right. Uh, Time magazine, time.com. Uh, but it says um, Elon Musk brain implant firm says U.S. has approved human tests. And our apostles and elders are, have been talking about these brain implants. OK, which is spoken about in the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter. All right. In relation to the uh, the MOTB, the market, uh, the yeah, the MOTB, man. All right, that's C-HIP. All right, so you're going to see more of these brain implants, all right, uh, being given to the masses, all right, not only in the uh, in their heads, but in their hands and so on and so forth, man. But it's going to come a point to where these implants are going to be uh, used, whether it's in your head or whether it's in your hands or where, wherever it may be, all right, to connect you, all right, to this system, okay, and lock you in into the, uh, lock you into the beast system, man, all right? which is a guaranteed destruction pursuant to Revelation, the 14th chapter. So let's read some of this. It says, um, it says Neuralink Corp, uh, Elon Musk brain implant company said it received approval from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to conduct human clinical trials. This is the result of incredible work by the Neuralink team in close collaboration with the FDA. It represents an important first step that will one day allow our technology to help many people. All right, so this is being looked at or being presented as a form of uh, salvation, okay? That's what it's gonna be brought to, see? As this society continues to collapse, all right, and, um, and hell all right, uh, continues to break loose in this place, man, all right, they're gonna come in with a solution, and that solution is gonna be the MOTB, all right? The solution of, uh, it could be uh, curing diseases or different ailments, but also uh, just to be able to feed your family. All right, so this is what's going to be put forth at the forefront, man. You're going to be forced with the, forced with the option to to either trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh all right, or lean upon this system, all right. And the scripture says in regards to the elect, Isaiah the tenth chapter, and this is what um, we're girding up our minds for, all right, to be able to maintain our faith and integrity, all right, 
uh, in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai so that we don't uh, uh, fold and, and, and take this uh, sea hit, man. All right. That's going to be a major test in the book of Revelation, the third chapter. Let me hit that real quick. <clears throat> All right, Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10, it says, uh, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right, and the implementation, uh, the implementation of the sea hip, all right, throughout the earth is going to be a part of the hour of temptation. All right, to try all of them that dwell upon the earth, man, because he's going to cause all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. All right, which is the C-hip, okay? That implantable chip. And their uh, uh, right hands are on their foreheads, whatever, right? And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right, so this is going to be pushed throughout all the earth, man. Okay? Not just here in America, not just here in Babylon, but throughout the entire earth. And you got certain places where they already have these C-hips, where they're already taking them, man, willingly. All right? But it says, uh, that's it on that. So let's go back to this in the book of Isaiah 10 and 20. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped at the house of Jacob shall no more again stay, meaning trust or rely upon him that smote them, but shall stay or rely or trust upon the Lord. Yeah, how would the Holy One of Israel in truth? So regardless of the circumstances that we're going to find ourselves in, our mentality has to be in trust to trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. And as it says in the book of Sirach, the second chapter Sirach chapter 2 in verse 10 it says look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded right so if we trust in the Lord keep our integrity we are going to be confounded man all right we're going to be taken care of all right even if it gets tough at times even when it gets tough at times all right the Lord is going to be there to sustain us to keep us all right it says strive for the truth meaning fight for the truth unto death and the Lord shall fight for thee all right so the Lord is going to fight for us. He is going to defend us and he's going to um, uh, make sure that we're uh, taken care of in these times that we're entering into, man. All right. Just as he is right now. But it says, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? All right. So that's a rhetorical question, man. All right. Because you look throughout our forefathers and their different generations, man, all of those that feared and trusted in the Lord. All right. They were uh uh they were taken care of man all right plain and simple man they were taken care of now did they go through hard times of course all right was it rough at times absolutely you can read through hebrews the 11th chapter what our faithful forefathers went through man all right but at the end of the day man they're in the hands of the lord man and regardless they got a great reward for the sufferings that they had to go through for yahweh bashim yahweh shad man all right but anyways um uh, that's, that's it in that. All right. So let's go back to this article here. It says, um, the FDA in Neuralink did not immediately respond to the request for comment. Uh, must startup is developing a small device that will link the brain to a computer consisting of electrode laced wires. Placing the device requires drilling into the skull. So they're going to have, you know, these different implants and, you know, this one in, in particular, you got to be drilled into the skull. All right. But it's going to be simplified for those ones that have to be putting your hand in and so on and so forth, right? They're gonna make this uh, very accessible, as easy as possible, all right, for people to get these implants, man. It says uh, the approval is really a big deal, and it is, all right, because this is a sign, once again, one of the signs of the coming of our Lord, all right, because <clears throat> prior to Yahweh Shai's return, all right, this has to be uh, implemented throughout the earth, all right, before World War Three, all right, this is gonna be implemented, man, okay? And we know that Yahweh Shah is going to return in the midst of that World War III, pursuing the prophecy, man. All right. When the nations, they're going to stop fighting one another and fight Yahweh Shah, man. All right. So this is, man, hey, we're, we're getting closer and closer to the coming of our Lord, man. It says uh, the approval is really a big deal, said Kristen Well, a former FDA official and an associate professor of neurosurgeon, neurosurgery and physiology at the University of Colorado. They can initiate human trials, which means they have passed the safety preclinical testing and the bench testing, she said, meaning testing for mechanical and design flaws, as well as for longevity and biocompatibility. All right. And um, that's all we're going to read on that article, man. So I just want to touch upon that. You know, one of those major prophecies that's uh, uh, coming to pass, man, that that C hit being uh, uh, implemented. All right. So let's go into this other article here. 
Now, this other article is going to be in relation to what this uh, this famine that's being orchestrated. All right. Now, this is from uh, Slay um, dot com slaynews.com it says uh john Kerry, farmers must stop growing food to meet net zero goals for emissions now we've been reading in the news and this narrative is being has been pushed for uh over a decade at least now all right going back into uh the ted talk that uh bill 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 snakes all right had um probably i think it was about 12 years ago from now well it was like 13 because i believe it was 2010 where um, Bill Snakes did that TED talk where he talked about that, uh, you know, they need to reduce carbon carbon emissions to zero. All right. And they said that they do a good job of uh, of uh, what what was it, man? They said they if they do a good job with uh, programs like Planned Parenthood and so on and so forth. All right. To bring the uh, pretty much to bring the population down then they can get that number close to zero. So he pretty much uh, he pretty much lets you know in that TED talk. You can look it up that their their plan is to reduce the population all right through um i'm trying to be careful with my wording all right uh through uh the 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 v's the v's the v scene uh, i don't even know how i can use it that injection man all right so different things like that to reduce the population right but it's showing you a narrative man all right but the point I was just bringing that up is because they've been using this whole carbon emission, all right, um, uh, issue, all right, to uh, bring in an excuse to bring forth their agenda. So now they're using this as an excuse to get farmers to stop growing food, man. Now, let's read some of their reasoning on this. OK, so it says Democratic uh, President Joe Biden's climate czar John Kerry is calling for farmers to stop growing food in order to meet the administration's radical net zero goals for lowering emissions. Kerry Biden's special presidential envoy for climate issued the warning during a Green Agenda conference in Washington, D.C. During the Department of Agriculture, USDA, aim for climate summit, Kerry told the audience that we can't get to net zero. We won't get this job done unless agriculture is front and center as part of the solution. Kerry warned attendees that his and other world leaders lives depend on farmers ceasing their operations. So how <laughs> ironic is that? Here it is. Farmers are the lifeline of uh, of producing food for, you know, for the people and for the nation. But yet they're a threat to the health of all the people. All right. And therefore, the farmers need to be done away with. See what Esau is doing. He's got all this GMO and, and uh, GMO foods and so on and so forth. He wants full control of everything. All right. He wants you to completely trust and rely on him. All right. So he's creating these circumstances so that you're forced to do that, man. All right. It says uh, stopping the farmers from growing food will lower agriculture, agriculture emissions, carry insist. All right. Now, even though I'm mentioning that, you know, all right, this is this devil's plan to, uh, um, you know, to um, bring in this famine. All right, it's really Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shad that put it in his heart to do these things because this is a part of the judgment of the Lord. Let's grab this in the book of Proverbs 21 and 1. It says, uh, The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So the Lord has put it in the mind of this devil to do this, man. All right, why? Because of the lewdness and the wickedness that's being perpetuated man in the book of Tobit it says lewdness is the mother of famine all right famine is a judgment for wickedness man <laughs> okay so that's why the lord is going to allow this devil to push forth this famine man all right so let me grab this in the book of ezekiel all right this is ezekiel chapter 5 and verse uh 16 when i shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine <laughs> okay it says, which shall be for their destruction and which I will send to destroy you. And I will increase the famine upon you and will break your staff of bread. All right. So will I send upon you famine and evil beasts and they shall bereave thee and pestilence and blood shall pass through thee. And I will bring the sword upon thee. I, the Lord, Yahweh Bashemi, I wish I have spoken it. All right. And this is what the Lord is doing. All right. He's bringing in a famine, man. For all the wickedness that is being perpetuated, man. All right. And this is going to be a heavy time. This famine is going to be a famine like no other, man. All right. Let's grab this in the book of Revelation, the sixth chapter. Revelation chapter six and verse. Uh, 
<clears throat> five, it says, and when I and when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, come and see. And I beheld and lo, a black horse and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. All right. And it goes into. Hmm, so lucky that those balances go into a yoke. All right. And this is what's happening, man. Esau is bringing in the squeeze upon this place, man. He's making he's making uh, he's going to continue to make it more difficult to get access to food. All right. Or to make food unaffordable for the majority of the people. Right. To bring in this famine and then bring in the sea hip. All right. So that people can uh, uh, trust in that to 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 get get access to that food, man. But it says verse. Six, and I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say a measure of wheat for a penny and three measures of barley for a penny and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. All right. So it says a measure of wheat for a penny. All right. Now you go into that word penny. It goes into a day's wages, man. All right. So a whole day of working could only get you. Imagine a whole day of working. All right. Could only get you a loaf of bread. You know, if that. Right. Your whole shift that you were, you could have worked a 12 hour shift and all it can get you is uh, one one loaf of bread, man. Imagine that. All right. That's hyperinflation, <laughs> super hyperinflation, man. All right. So these things are going to it's, it's going to get rough out here, man. And th these things are going to happen here in America, man. OK, see, these people are dwelling without care. They don't think anything's going to happen. Like it says in the book of Isaiah, the 47 chapter. This is Isaiah chapter 47. And verse. Uh. Seven, it says, and thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, that thou didst not lay these things to heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. Therefore, hear now this, thou that are given to pleasures that dwellest carelessly. And these people have been dwelling carelessly, man. This is the most obese nation in the, uh, in, in the world. All right. They, they're filled with pleasures, uh, delicacies, and so on and so forth, man. They don't think they're going to be touched with calamities. All right. True calamity, man. It says that says in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment and one day, the loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments, man. All right. So plain and simple. So these things are going to come and it's going to come swiftly and catch these people off guard, man. All right. These people are going to know what to do. But as for the servants of the Lord, it says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. All right. So we're going to trust in the Lord and we've been we're being guided through the spirit. All right. To uh, to be able to endure in these times that we're entering into, man. All right. So that's pretty much it on that article. Um, I want to go to another one. All right. Now, this goes into more of a, a war on free speech. Now, I want to go into uh, which is a uh, in. In relation to the prophecy in Amos, uh, I believe that's the uh, the ninth chapter, which the Lord will will grab, or uh, eight and eleven, I believe. Let me scroll down to it. Now I want you to check out what Biden has to say here. So it says Biden says U.S. government uh, agencies will take over a hundred bold and unprecedented actions to fight hate and anti. You see it there, all right. building cross-community solidarity and collective action to fight hate. This strategy includes over 100 bold and unprecedented actions that government agencies are going to take to counter anti-Semitism. And that includes calls for action for Congress, state and local governments, companies, technology platforms, civil society, and faith leaders, all of them to act, act, silence is complicity. All of us must stand united to affirm that an attack on any one group of us it's an attack on all of us. Right now, a key thing that he mentioned, all right, pretty much is a, it's a war on free speech. Right. But he specifically even mentioned uh, about faith leaders. All right. Getting into action. OK, so you're going to notice, man, that these people that are juiced in. All right. That have these 501c3 charters and everything like that, man, they're going to continue to to push forth the same narrative that this devil is pushing. All right. They're going to advocate for the sea hit. All right. The MOTB. OK. And they're going to speak more, uh, uh, more against the Israelites, man. All right. Because we speak against those small hats, according to what the Bible says concerning them, man. All right. <laughs> and we're going to continue to speak against these things, man, because that's what the Bible says. But as you see that happening, 
All right. They're going to be pushing more of these different faith leaders to to uh, um, to come up against us. All right. And to, to twist. All right. Uh, uh, twist scriptures, man. OK. To justify whether it's getting the C hit. All right. Or once again, coming up against us more. All right. So I want to grab this in the book of uh, Amos, man. All right. The eighth chapter. Oh, as a matter of fact, before I go there, I want to uh, read a little bit of this since it, it ties into it as well. Let me get up out of here. All right, so this is uh, from Blacklisted News. It says the FDA wants people to report misinformation. All right. It says in a recent announcement, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has revealed the launch of a Web page designed to address and curtail what it says is the spread of misinformation related to health and medical topics online. This initiative known as the rumor control page invites users to report instances of perceived misinformation on the internet, particularly on social media platforms. So, all right, that's why the scripture says, marvel not if the whole world hated, hated you, man. All right, because these people are gonna be coming up against us, all right? They have the mindset of the serpent, okay? And we're enemies of the serpent, man. All right. So anybody that's in opposition to the NWO agenda, right, they're going to be um, they're going to be targeted, man. Anybody that's speaking against it, they're going to be targeted. All right. We're going to be targeted more and more, man. OK, we we plainly and boldly speak out against these things uh, week in and week out, man. All right. So we're at, we're, we're going to be at the top of this list, man. And that hate is going to show itself forth, man. But it says uh, it says. Uh, let me see. Uh, the growing spread of rumors, misinformation and disinformation about science, medicine and the FDA is putting patients and consumers at risk. We're here to provide the facts the FDA announced. It says it concluded by calling on users to check the FDA's rumor control page to see how the agency was fighting misinformation. All right, you can read more of this article. So they pretty much have a Web page where you can go and report somebody all right, who's uh, spreading misinformation. Man. All right. And that's why the scriptures talk about a time. All right, let me let me just grab it. All right, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 10 and verse uh, uh, 21. It says, and the brother shall deliver up the brother to death and the father, the child and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. And you should be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. All right. So these types of things were happening back then. And these things are going to happen now. OK. We're going to have people that are delivering up each other all right, uh, um, to death for speaking against the the uh, the agenda, not agreeing all right, with the government, man. See, the clampdown is coming. All right. The government's going to continue to to tighten up the squeeze all right, on the people, man. OK. And this is what we've been telling you through the spirit and power. Y'all about Shimmy, I was shy. All right. But it says, but he that shall endure unto the end shall be saved. So we have to endure all these things, man. The hatred. All right. People coming up against us and the Lord is going to be with us every step of the way, man. That's why we have nothing to fear. All right. Let's grab this in the book of um, uh, Matthew, the 24 chapter. As a matter of fact, Spirit just gave me this one as well. Matthew 24. It says. Uh, Yeah, Matthew 24 and 12, straight to the point. It says, and because uh, iniquity, as a matter of fact, I'm going to start up at verse uh, 7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, man. So this is only the beginning. All right. There's more sorrows to come. Okay. Hasn't really even uh, 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 touched this place like that yet, man. But it is coming. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and they shall kill, kill you and, sh and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. All right. So there's going to be a lot of betrayal that's happening, man. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. OK. And you had to happen during 70 AD. I just did a lesson on it uh, last week, man. Or it might have been earlier this week. All right. How during 70 AD, man, you had the Romans that were paying off uh, uh, false teachers, all right, uh, uh, to, to guide our people to the slaughter, man, to make it easier for the Romans to come in and roll on them, man. So you're going to have the same thing happening in this time period, all right? 
Biden even just told you, man, hey, he's calling for uh, uh, faith leaders, man. All right. To uh, to 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 speak against these different groups that are coming up against the the, the small hats. All right. Or, or pushing a narrative that's against the, uh, the NWO agenda, man. All right. So they're in their back pocket. All right. They're going to have to push forth their agenda. OK, they're a part of what being false prophets. It says, and many false prophets shall, shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So we're going to see these things, man. The love of many waxing cold, man. All right. So we have to be, have our minds girded up and prepared to go through these different things. All right. So let's grab this in the book of Amos. All right. The uh, eighth chapter, and we'll probably end it off right here. Amos chapter eight and verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So we're going to continue to preach this word until the Lord all right, sees the fit to take us off the corners. All right. Have us stop teaching uh, openly. Right. That's the times that we're, uh, we're approaching, man. OK, we ain't going to be out there easily accessible for the people, man. All hell is going to be breaking out loose. We ain't going to be out there like that on the street corners, man. OK. In the book of Ezekiel, it says that the Lord will cause our tongue to cleave to the roof of our mouth, that we should not be a reprover to the people anymore, man. So we ain't going to be out here correcting you. And in that time, man, that's when you know it's, you know it's a wrap, man. When the prophets ain't out there, man, because the Lord is showing his compassion and his uh, mercy by having his prophets out there warning, man. But when the prophets stop warning, it's a wrap, all right? That means what's left? Nothing but judgment, man, okay? Nothing but judgment, all right? That's when his prophets are uh, 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 taken away. All right. And, and, and sheltered and kept while all hell is breaking out loose, man. All right. And throughout the scriptures, you see that narrative, man. All right. During the time of Jeremiah, when the Babylonians were coming in, man. All right. Hey, the spear hopped on uh, uh, one of the, uh, the the generals in the Babylonian uh, army. All right. To where he was like, look, if you want to go to Babylon, you can go to Babylon. If you want to stay here in Jerusalem, you can stay here. You know, hey, whatever you want to do, you straight, you know, have favor on them, man. All right. So, hey, Jeremiah was straight. You know, so it's going to be the same thing, man. Hey, his prophets, they're going to be kept. His servants, they're going to be kept, man. All right. During this, uh, 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 during this destruction, man. But it says, uh, Amos 8 and 11 again, it says, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. All right. So once again, we ain't going to be out there reproving the people forever, man. Verse 12, and they shall wander from sea to sea. And from the north, even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Right. So people are going to want this word and they're not going to have access to it. All right. They ain't going to know what to do. They're going to be walking like blind men because they've sinned against the Lord, as uh, as it is written in the book of Zephaniah. Man. All right. The Lord isn't going to provide them with the guidance. All right. That's needed. OK. It says um, in that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. All right. So that's it, man. I just want to go into a few of those articles that caught my eye, man. You know, uh, Lord's what I was at a fun. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rakakurash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, rule well, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth with that, I'm going to say Shalom.